Hello everyone, I'm Jamie Holmes. And I'm Angie Gallo, Vice Chair and School Board Member for District 1. Angie, where are we today? We are at Discovery Middle School, a beautiful middle school over here in Waterford Lakes. It is beautiful, but they also need a lot of work, right? They do. They are actually up for renovations. So we're here to talk about the half cent sales tax that is on the ballot in November. I think it's really important to tell people that this is not a new tax. This is an extension of an already existing tax. So tell me a little bit about that. So this is just a renewal, as you mentioned, of an ongoing tax. And this is a tax that has been used to renovate over 100 schools. It helps refresh our schools. It helps keep our air conditioners working. Those chillers are very expensive. It helps with the roofs, with the updating of our media centers. It does a lot to ensure equitable facilities across Orange County. And there's a lot more schools that need this work, right? Absolutely. A dozen in my district that are up for some sort of refresh or renovation. So what are the big points that you see that need that renovation work? You mentioned air conditioner. I would imagine fire alarm systems, things yes. like that. Technology updates, right? Yes, technology updates, Wi-Fi updates, making sure the roofs are working well, that the media centers are updated, that the bathrooms are updated. Every child deserves to come into a facility that they feel proud to be in. I think one question that people at home might ask is, well, why don't you just go to Tallahassee and get the money from there? We don't get any money from Tallahassee. We get zero dollars um, to build or refresh our buildings. It all comes from local taxpayer dollars and without that half penny sales tax we would not be able to keep up with the demands of our facilities here in Orange County. So uh, this again is almost a, a blessing in disguise because a lot of the people who are paying the tax right now, the half cent sales tax that's already on the books, are our visitors and tourists. Absolutely. The majority of our taxes come from tourism so it's not being paid by the citizens that live here. So that's almost, if people vote no on this in November it's like leaving free money on the table. It's leaving free money on the table, and it will ensure that when chillers go down and ACs go down, that we will not be able to get to them as quickly as we do today. So talk to me personally why this is so important for you, why this is important for the district as a whole. How important is it for us to say, yes, we have top of the line, 21st century buildings for our education of our children? I think it's important for the students and the staff. I feel when students come into a building that they can be proud of, when they see facilities that are clean, it shows that we value them and we value their education. And there's research out there that shows that kids will actually behave better in a building that is well maintained and well kept. Not to mention that if you don't have air conditioning for several hours, you're not learning anything. Sure. Because it's, it's well, we live in Florida, let's just be honest, it's too hot. But I think it shows that we value our students, we value our staff, and we want everybody across the county, and this is a large county, to have equitable facilities. You know, there's that functional equity. Every kid deserves to go into the same building as a child that lives across the county. I think it's interesting, though, that we are a large county, but our sales tax right now is at 6.5%. Surrounding counties actually have 7.5%. Much higher, much higher. Without these tax dollars, we'll see a huge decline in what we'll be able to do for our facilities. We will lose millions and millions of dollars, and our students and our staff will definitely see the impact of that. So the most important question, how can folks weigh in on this? They can vote. They can vote on November 5th. This will be the last item on the ballot, but it's the first in our hearts. Oh, I like that. All right, we'll see you November 5th.